Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Disney Universe here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and I'm so glad you guys are joining me again. Uh, hopefully. Uh, it looks like it looks like everything's running all right, so we're gonna keep going. And I'm gonna sorry if I if something did just happen there, if it glitched out, if it comes out a little wonky, or if I stop talking for a little bit. Super sorry, guys. It's just the computer froze up, and uh, something your parents might be able to relate to or understand is this new Windows update is just is just not the best, guys. So um, hopefully it'll get debugged and fixed, but that's something we gotta worry about on another time. All we have to worry about now is continuing to the next level. The shield we have protects us from damage, so I can just run on those spikes. No problem. And right now I'm just taking care of business. Oh, uh, we can actually do this hex challenge, so here we go. Let the challenge begin. Bombs away. Survive the bomb attack. Two. One. And we can go all... Oh, okay. So all we have to do, guys, is not get hit by the bombs for 30 seconds. This is a. Uh, this challenge is a lot more difficult when you have a lot more people playing because we're all running into each other or we're clustering in one area. Whereas when it's just me, I can just kind of freely move around the area and not get hit. I say that and then I almost got hit right there. Did you see? Oh, it looks like you can pick them up too. So if other people were playing, you could pick them up and toss them there so they'd get knocked out. So we'll take that, that gold coin. A feeling we're still we're still missing one more blueprint and I'd really like to find it. Darn, I was hoping that was it. Oh, maybe. No. I thought maybe that was a chicken pipe that we can go down, but. There is still one more area we haven't gone down. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, guys. Uh, Professor Sanford's going to double check me on that, that, but I'm pretty sure that was uh, a Ben Franklin saying about how if you don't take risks every now and then, you're never going to discover anything new. And look, we got all three blueprints because we took a risk, so way to go, us. Way to go, you guys at home. I couldn't be doing any of this without you, so thanks so much, guys. We have all three blueprints, and we unlock some concept art, so now let's get the... Get the heck on out of here. Warp, engage! Three, two... Now, if I remember correctly, each Disney Universe panel, uh, or world, I should say, has about three levels. To help out, I put help arrows in to guide you through the level. And then Hex said you can turn them off if you want to. So this should be the last level in this world, but I don't know. I don't don't you guys can't quote me on anything. That's what. Uh, so we need to start the chickenator. That's what Professor Sanford's for. We need a key to open that. Woo! We are powerful. All right, so. Pull the lever. Can we, like, hop super high? Oh! It was a chicken door. I didn't even... I didn't even see that, you guys. Oh, well, I'm a chicken again. It just opened right up for us. I didn't need to lose all those coins. This is a bummer. Now we gotta destroy the engines. And it looks like the best way to do that is to throw the bombs into the tractor beam. But we gotta be quick about it, it looks like. Aye! Uh oh! Uh 
There's 104 days of summer vacation. School comes along just to end it. Gotta get away from that. Guys, if you're uh, if you're new to the video gaming world, a little tip I can uh, gladly give you is when you see something beeping, or when you see something flashing and hear something beeping, it usually means something bad's about to happen, so you want to get out of there quick. All right, let's let's fight Doofenshmirtz's blimp. Oh, jeez. Do I get like higher points if I hit the middle? It doesn't look like it. What was that about? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I get out of that? All right, now we gotta destroy the engines again, so. It's pointing us all the way over here. Goo! Do you guys see all those lasers coming at us? Forget about it. Run, run, run. Can't catch me, I'm the Agent P man. Ooh. Getting risky right there, uh-oh. No, come on, we, we don't need to be pee, we need to be a chicken. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh no, did I turn back? Oh no! Can't believe I missed that jump, you guys. I don't feel like jumping did me any better. Okay. Nope. There's one down. I haven't seen one blueprint yet. Have you guys? Ooh. That Doofenshmirtz blimp is no joke. And what I like about these levels is, or what I like about this game a lot is it usually teaches you what you learned in the first level on how to get through the next. So like we learned in the last level that when we hop in these, it shoots us upwards. need to get back on the jet packinator. I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is. Here we go. And we're back to doing this. Well, I guess that's the penalty for shooting too much. They can't hit me if I'm not a, not on the jet packinator. What happened with that one? Wait down here for those rockets to blast away. Here we go. See, I don't... Now I don't think that... It's me doing something wrong. Now I just think it's always going to fire missiles at you. But it looks like the little loophole we found is if you just drop off the jet, off the jet packinator, then they'll just fly up there and hit nothing. Destroy the claw. What claw? So that's how you destroy those uh, environmental hazards, guys. Which is, that's what, uh, in video games, something that hurts you that's part of the environment is called an environmental hazard. 
Oh. Wait, what was I supposed to do there? Was I supposed to just hit the claw? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not even counting. That's no good. Uh-oh, we lost a life. But like we learned in the last episode, you usually just pop right back up. We gotta get over there and destroy that claw. He he drops for so for so little amount of time, it's so so unfair. And we died again. <laughs> or I shouldn't say died. No one dies in Disney. We just lost a life. I wish the claw would drop on him. Alright, so we took him down, so now we just need to stay around the claw to damage it up when it hits down. And we didn't hit it at all. So guys... I'm actually going to wrap up the episode, and then when we come back, we'll take care of the claw. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing if you did. As always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys!